Welcome back, delegates, to Between the Gavels. We're glad you decided to join us for our first report of the 2020 NJ Youth and Government season. If you've been following our social media, you'll recall that all of our officers for the 2020 NJ Ag Conference have been announced. Now that the officer corps has been finalized, the officers are at their first retreat as a group. We're here to keep you updated on all things YAG. We'll now go to Kaylee Zhao, who's standing by Sarah Ahmed, our Judicial Bee Chief Justice. Kaylee, are you there? Yes, Tiffany, I'm here. Now, Sarah, as a veteran delegate, how do you feel about Parley Pro lessons during pre -ledge? Parley Pro lessons during pre -ledge can create a lot of overlap for experienced delegates. I wish there was a way that these delegates could receive individualized attention to help guide their conference experience. Interestingly enough, our youth governor, Wilson Wu, has envisioned a new initiative in which first-year delegates are separated from other delegates at pre -ledge. What do you know about this? I heard about this. Apparently, um, the new first-year delegates will be able to receive their own Parley Pro lessons, while the more experienced delegates will be able to jump right into Minimop Conference. Now, how do you feel about this? I think this is a fantastic solution for everyone. The first-year delegates are really going to be able to boost their confidence with more Parley Pro lessons, and the experienced delegates get to jump right into it. Do you think it will cause more division between first-year delegates and more experienced ones? I think this will actually create more unity within conference as the first years will get to jump back into debate with um, a renewed sense of confidence. Thanks so much, Sarah. Now back to Tiffany. It's great to see how much an officer can shape the governor's initiatives. Kudos to Wilson and Andrew. Now let's check in with Jenison Edwaraj, who's standing by with Justin Anderson, one of our two sophomore YAG officers in the court. Jenison? Thanks, Abe. I'm here with Justin Anderson, our current sophomore at Westfield High School. So, Justin, were you anxious about running as a first-year delegate in legislative committee? How did you feel about running against upperclassmen? Well, going into conference, I wasn't really planning on running for officer, but throughout the weekend, I really felt like I wanted to play a bigger role in youth and government. At first, I was definitely nervous to go up against so many experienced delegates, but after practicing my speech with my friends and receiving positive encouragement from members of my committee, I felt so much better about myself. What advice do you have for the incoming first-year delegates? who are considering running for officer as a freshman. My advice would be to not be scared to take a risk. The worst thing that could happen is that you don't win, but you still get the experience of running for officer, which can really help with your public speaking skills and even prepare you to run for an officer role in the future if that's your, still your goal. And best case scenario, you might even win. So don't be afraid to take that risk because you never know what might happen. All right, thanks Justin. Now back to Tiffany and Abed for more. It really is inspiring to see someone so young be able to take on such a big role. Now, before we sign off, we want to give you an inside look on the officer retreat. We have one of our co-editors-in-chief, Noreen, to talk about officer subcommittees. Hi, uh, can I buy the camera for a second? No, uh, Okay. Hey guys, my name is Sai Noreen Shikyal, and I'm from the Marlboro delegation. Today I'll be talking more about officer subcommittees and giving you guys a more in-depth look on the officer retreat. Each subcommittee works towards improving a specific part of conference. For example, outreach works on expanding youth and government to new delegations and expanding already existing ones. Other subcommittees include media, which produces content for social media, such as the video that you're watching right now, and articles, the Youth Secretariat subcommittee, which works with the Youth Secretariat Corps in order to make sure that YAG is regulated at a delegation level, and fundraising, which lowers the cost of conference so that more delegates can attend. All these subcommittees work in collaboration in order to make sure that conference is the best that it can be. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow us at NJYAG on Instagram to make sure that you are updated on all things YAG.